guys hi guys how are you doing welcome back to explore 254 this is a channel where we discuss about opportunities about you know taxi business about side hustles and also career mentorship and other things so today we have a guest and this guest is a frequent user of you know taxi taxis in kenya that is bolt uber litro cab she will tell us more about her experiences so grace how are you today I'm fine, thank you, and so, thank you for having me here. Thank you very much. I have a few questions for you. The first one, so I assume you live in Nairobi. Definitely, yes. Okay, so do you, what means of transport do you use when uh, traveling around the city? I use public means, that is my tattoos. I use uh, the, the Ubers, that is the taxi, the taxi uh, bolt and such, and I also use my car sometimes. Okay, mm. so on average, how many times do you take a taxi? In a month, maybe once in a week, so approximately uh, four to six times in a month. Okay. Yeah. So, what do you know about the the taxi business and the driver experiences within the city? What can you say you know about the business? Mm, yeah, I've had. Uh, of course, it's a very it's a high it's a growing industry, and uh, of course, people have been talking about uh, Uber, about Bolt mostly, and I've had. Some of the apps, the drivers don't have the best of customer uh, service. And, uh, but what I know is that it has been uh, highly uh, received by many people. And uh, I know everyone that uses uh, these apps really. Even if there's a lot of talking, mm -hmm. people still use these apps. Okay, so what can you say that you don't know about the business? So I'm not sure of, of how it runs. And, to make it profitable to the driver and also to the company. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you said that you take um, taxi three, four, five times a, a, a month. Yeah, so, which app do you use? So, I have on my phone Uber app. I, okay. I also have Bolt. Mm -hmm. So, it depends on uh, some factors. But I highly trust Uber, to be honest, because okay. of the, you know, the integrity of the drivers and the security issues. Okay. But for Bolt, I also prefer it because it's uh, quite affordable. It's uh, it's usually less amounts compared to Uber. So sometimes I use it because of uh, economically being economically friendly. Okay. Mm. So for you, Bolt is for pocket friendly. Yes. Uber is more of safety, security, and good conduct of the drivers. Mostly. All right. So. Um, what is the minimum amount of fare have you ever paid in a single trip? I think it was 150 shillings, but okay. it was a very short distance. So, okay. Mm. Was the driver happy when you paid him 150 shillings? Of course not. Mm. Uh, he did say thank you. Okay. So I think uh, he felt it was a very small amount, mm -hmm. but I also felt like it was worth it because it was a very short distance. Mm. Really. Yeah. With all the stories and criticism going on in the online, in the social media and mainstream media, do you think that drivers are well compensated by the passengers for the trips they make? Do you think that they are underpaid? I wouldn't say they are underpaid. Because mm -hmm. uh, I believe these apps have some sort of integrity and they are able to calculate. Uh, and also there's a lot of competition between these apps. There are so many that are cropping up. So... Definitely, when there's a lot of competition, prices go mm -hmm. lower. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think they put into uh, fact uh, matters to do with the distance, how much time it will take you to get that person there, and also marketing mm -hmm. uh, price uh, cost. So I don't think that the drivers are underpaid. Okay. Yeah. So how much have you ever paid as the maximum to a taxi driver? For me, it was like a thousand, and that was a trip from my place mm. to the airport. Okay. Mm. So, do you think it was enough? It was enough. Mm -hmm. We didn't spend a lot of time. Okay. There was no jam. Mm -hmm. I I felt it was a fair price. Okay. It was a fair price on my side. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, do you give tips to drivers? Yeah, I occasionally do that. You know, it depends with how satisfied I feel with the ride. Mm -hmm. uh, your attitude. You know how you are, uh, how you approach me, how much time you take. Those are all factors that can con that can stimulate me to give a tip. But if you are the opposite, mm -hmm. definitely I keep my money. Okay. Yeah. So um, when you take a, a taxi, do you guide a, the driver to your destination, or you always leave them to use the Google Maps alone? 
Yeah, so I usually don't unless the driver asks me because mm -hmm. I give them the benefit of doubt to be able to use the Google map on their, okay. on their phone okay. and lead me to my destination. Not unless a driver mm -hmm. asks me, that's when I, I give the instructions or okay. directions. Okay. Mm -hmm. So have you ever felt insecure while riding on a taxi? Or do you know someone like a friend or a family member that you know in person that has ever been um, under the threat of insecurity while riding in a taxi in Kenya? To be honest, I've only heard of stories okay. uh, by other people I've read on social media, but it has never happened to me. Okay. And I also am very careful. I don't take uh, these kind of apps very late in the night because okay. I hear that's when most of the incidences occur. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, do you prefer a driver who is silent completely or a driver with some stories? For me, I love a mixture of both. Okay. So you you want to be moderate in everything. Okay. Of course, I don't want someone who is completely talking every minute, and I also don't uh, like someone who is like very uh, silent throughout the journey because it also sends a message. Mm -hmm. So, but if you are able to like uh, you greet me from the beginning, maybe from time to time you just make a comment or you know we connect in one way. Uh, that is the kind of experience that I anticipate. Okay. So a blend of both. All right. Mm. So and the last one, what advice can you give to the next driver or the driver that you will take next, mm. so that he can make your ride the best experience ever? So for me, I love someone who is honest. Mm -hmm. So if I've requested for a Uber on my phone, okay, and then I call you, and then uh, you tell me that you are uh, three minutes away. You should be those three minutes away and if not you should be able to communicate and say what has happened okay. so for me that kind of um, openness mm -hmm. and even when we end the the journey please just tell me the, the correct amount other than carrying it forward or what was it called rounding up rounding it up yeah mm. and then I'm, I'm made to pay more so like i prefer on an honest driver okay yeah so what do you think also the driver should expect from a good customer so that he can have also a good time when riding you to your destination. So similarly, even as a client, we need to be highly cooperative with the drivers. Mm -hmm. Also be able to pick the right uh, pick up a point and drop off point so to avoid any confusion because you might have picked up a drop off that is uh, like it's not where you are going and maybe the driver has to, to take you further than that. So the driver will become frustrated. So mm. you need to be very careful when mm. you're choosing your pickup location and your drop-off location and communicate it to the driver. And if there is good customer service, just give them some tips. You know, they are human. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so thank you very much for your advice and for your contribution. So the only question I will answer you, you asked whether the industry is profitable. Uh, I have answered this question so many times using my videos. I have done a lot of calculations and I invite you to just go and watch one or two videos and come back to me saying whether you have the answer to your question or not. But is it profitable, yes or no? It is profitable. Thank you. But the details are in my videos. Okay. So thank you, Grace, and catch you up in the next one. Bye. Bye.